tough person. You no, know, everyone here is a hardcore. It's like the hardest motherfucker you ever met, and all yeah. of the like m- the memas have like the most state oh of the God. art graphic tees. <laughs> It's it it's incredible the the level of graphic tea in um, this 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 part of town is is amazing. Um, Ch- Chinatown Mimas are um, one of one of life's uh, yeah great great things. They truly are. But we just jumped in this. We we've just been talking, having a grand old time. And I yeah, the wave got kicked off. Hey everyone. You've been listening to a conversation with me and Trevor. That's right. It's me, Dia, and you've got friends in Majula. Welcome back. Um, it's our first official recording of the new year. Wow. 2023. Happy new year, Dia. Um, happy new year to you, Trevor. Um, happy new year to you, dear audience person, viewer. So, that's the so word. So exciting. For... Yeah. Happy think, new year I to think Derby. That's the word. <laughs> yeah. Happy new year, Derby. Yeah. I don't think. Do, do you think Derby knows about years? Um, I don't know, but Derby seems pretty pumped up. <laughs> so Derby definitely knows about years. No one would be that pumped up if they didn't know it was the new year. It's. I mean, I think Derby might be pumped up about this uh, deliberately co-op uh, design murder tunnel <laughs> that we're going to be uh, to, to running through, so that we can do to the optional boss at the end of it. I love I love I love doing the Baldur's Gate uh, inspired side uh, part of Dark Souls 2 without anyone to do it with. <laughs> God. Well, we've got Steel Willed Lori for starters. We do have Steel Willed. And Lori. we also have Drifter Swordsman Adel. Um I mean both good, both good, and hail companions. I, I really have to know. Do you think this is a pun on Adol from Ease? That's a, yeah, no, that's a really good. Well, especially as Drifter Swordsman, right? That's that's, that's what that's what threw me off. I'm like, I'm like, wait. And I think I he's mean, a redhead too. Like, it looked from his like it, his portrait, he looks like a redhead. I'm wondering if, yeah, I wonder if it's a pun if it comes from the original or if that's a localization pun like someone because someone doing localization for from soft games is absolutely tuned in to oh yeah if you're if you're if you're working if you're working on a from soft game uh (laughs) you you are familiar with uh, you're just you're fine you're 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 there um yeah i honestly i'm i'm just i'm I'm gonna say I'm I'm convinced. I, I have I have really no no reason to think that's not the case. And now I'm trying to think of Steel Willed Lori if that's anything. And I'm like I'm I'm drawing a blank. But Drifter Swordsman Adel just popped out so hardly hard to me nope. this time. I think that's right. I think that's correct. Actually, I I, like I I can't see any good reason why it wouldn't be right. So yeah, like that's kind of it's pretty funny. I haven't played any of these. I really should. You ever played any of these games? I have, and it's one of my it's one of my blind spots. They're a good time. I'm. Um, I, I have ha- a couple I've, of people. I have who... not yet made the full transition to. Uh, Jesus, that oh my. Yeah, what's going on there? Uh, we gotta get in the zone. I've been playing Final Fantasy fourteen, so like I'm all kinds of. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to do this in Final Fantasy XIV. No, in Final Fantasy XIV, you have to just like dodge all of the heads that want to like be. You gotta at keep the corner. this going around. Yeah. What have, what have you been doing in Final Fantasy XIV, dear? Um, at this point, I've basically been like uh, logging in for like twenty minutes to do <laughs> the seasonal event. <laughs> okay. Out. All right. Very um, nice. And then, Excellent. like, looking at like my um, my my stats or my um, my crossbar, and being like, I don't remember any of this. And then being too terrified of fucking up to actually go and do like a dungeon or anything. Yeah, I um, I haven't done like I, I'll I'll do stuff in like the party finder now because I found that like people are desperate when you use the party finder and they want that so like if you're bad they'll still be really nice to you because they've been waiting forever to have that spot get filled but um i won't i mean if it's like a a, you know like leveling queue or whatever i'm 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 terrified of it like i yeah i don't like i don't like people yelling at me 
That's one of the things about Dark Souls. No one yells at you in Dark Souls. Like, you can get someone being a little catty to you as a, as a, an invader or something. But yeah. for all of the discussions about toxicity in this fan base, there's no one who's going to be like, you know, you screwed up that dungeon. Yeah, no. No one's no one's here to, to really fuck with you. Um, you know what? Let's just, just run through. We're going to go for it? Why not? Yeah. Like, let's just, just you know, like, let's, why fuck around? Smelter Demon Blue, let's go. Smelter Demon Blue, famously uh, friends with uh, the new one. Uh, oh. Just, just kidding. You got mad oh. I said that. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't say it again. That was really he doesn't funny. want to be compared, like, he doesn't do, want to be compared do, do, to Twitter no, we're Blue. We're fine, we're cool. I'm just going to swing back and pop a yeah, Nestus and... My, my homies will show up in a minute, and then it was just like, no, we're dead. Yeah, well, Drifter Swordsman Adol and our friend Steel <laughs> did not show up in a timely fashion. No, they did not show up in a timely fashion. Um, I'm actually not going to bring up it this time. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, because I, I was fully intended to just kind of clear out these rooms. Um mm. And we're just gonna have fun doing that, and just kind of. And I think up, you can catching yeah. up with my homie Trevor and my homie Derby, Wonderful. and just seeing what happens. Fantastic! Fantastic! Over here, buddy. Over here. Oh, so have you been writing? Have you been reading? Have you been? What have you been up to? I have not been doing any of that. I have just been. That's great. I have been trying to vibe and get my flow back because. You know, um, basically, <laughs> just been like kind of processing the fact that my dad died. Yeah, <laughs> no, like, I mean, you know what? You've been doing a good really job of it. Kind of was like, uh, you know, I um, I did a I did a podcast with some friends for the end of the year, and that's about like uh, I remembered to do this podcast or this uh, LP. There you um, go. I've been doing. Good. The, I did the LP with them. Um, yep. And like that's son of a bitch. It's hard enough to, man. I gotta say, like the en just quickly, the enemies in this section are so, so ridiculous. Yeah, like what the shit, my god, dude. They are so rough. <laughs> like I, I do not know what, what from. I, well, I know, I know exactly what Frobs off was thinking with this. It's they were thinking that you were gonna get. Um, a bunch of like you know super bros, um, and you would do this to steamroll this section together, and it would be great. Um, and, and it would. would. It's just that um, all our bros are gone. All our bros are gone. It's it's much later um, from like when this was like content was you know fresh and people were doing it, and also soul memory is a joke. Um, <laughs> You know? What? No, it's it's a really good it's a really good mechanic, right? It's so funny because like it's like oh it's the anti ganking mechanic. I would much rather be ganked and not have to worry about doing fucking like advanced calculus to figure out who I can group with and if I can group with them at all and like all that shit. Oh god, I hate I hate unexplained mechanics like that. Like they're they're just like incredibly irritating. <laughs> And then my favorite part is like you know, of course, the community figured that all out. Like they figured out sure all the the math and all of that shit, like instant. It's just that it's like just... you have to do it every time. It sucks. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's obnoxious. I hate this 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 like slow. That that um the one, the one little like priest dude drops on you. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of. Bitch. Oh. It's kind of a different spell, actually. Like you don't get a lot of slowdown spells. You, in Dark yeah, Souls. You, you, we don't get a lot of heavy um, in in many games, really. Now that I'm thinking about it, like it's true. It must be a difficult thing to to balance heavy. Um, I mean, that, just like in the way that I'm sure a lot of the movement skills for for these games are like extremely well balanced to begin with and so like throwing a wrench in that is probably really complicated well and it's such a uh, cruelty here like i really i kind of i do love it um because like you know
you, like this, there's so much movement required going through this this particular zone, right? You know that like. Oh yeah, if you lose, you get movement. hit with that, especially because like I'm, I'm running. Pre- I don't know, what am I running? Am I running light? I'm like forty six. You're not super. Yeah, so you're not super heavy. No, but I'm under fifty percent. Most people go right up to like sixty nine point seven. And so, you know, like 69.7, 69.9, like right to the break point before yep. um, uh, you get to the, the like, the, the, the heavy roll. And it's just like, you get hit if with you're that you're heavy slug, at that point, you're yeah, done. It, it instantly is going to dr- push you over into, like, heavy. And then you're just, like, completely, you know. You... Well, and these guys, these guys are both like all the enemies in here are both like dexterous and they hit really hard. Mm-hmm. Um, and the elemental stuff particularly is so ah, it's just like brutal around here. I like this section because like while the I mean I like it as a viewer. I imagine as a player uh, I would feel more complicated about it, but uh, as a viewer, uh, I like this section because it. It sort of does the same thing that the um, the dragon section did, it, like in that it like you know raises the stakes a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I feel like this is just a lot more petty about it, which I I respect. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's definitely it's it's upping the ante in some like really significantly interesting ways. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, it it, it feels kind of like they're just like playing around, like they're just like well. Mm-hmm. You know, since it's the DLC, why don't we kind of mess around with some stuff we might want to try in later games or something like that? Which really, like, I mean, I never really thought about it before, but now that I am thinking about it, it's kind of what DLC should always be. Um, I think the 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 thing of like, you know, I, I guess you know, unless you aren't planning on making a sequel, in which case, then that's another thing altogether and admirable in its own right. But like. If you are, like, of course, FromSoft was when they made this and every game they make. Um, just, like, try and work out what you want to do in your next game with your, with your sequel. Well, this is interesting because, like, you know, like, but from what I remember, Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 were, like, both like, basically being set up in tandem. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, um, they they were they were doing it at the same time. In fact, like Bloodborne really. Um, I know I knew Bloodborne like Miyazaki was split on this because he was busy yeah. with Bloodborne, and then I think they brought him back in was the deal. Yeah, it uh yeah I know Bloodborne significantly uh, impacted. I don't want to say hurt, but it significantly impacted this uh, the timeliness of this of this release. Yeah, I know. Dark Souls 2 got delayed a bunch because they were working on that. Um, and then, yeah, by the end, they were also working on Dark Souls 3. Oh, so, like, yeah, I mean, like, why not just give it a try? Like, you have this thing that has this super long tail. You know, just try some other stuff. Oh, this place is smart. They're, they're better out here sniping with the big grape bow. Um. Smart or coward? Look, if you, can, if you got it, use it. I got a you got it, flaunt it. Okay. It's an important thing to pick up. Oh, did you get that? Oh, wait, no. You didn't. Sorry. Really. I got so confused there with all the enemies. Oh, no, he's still alive. Okay. Oh, but I got them both at the same time. That was so cool. No, no, that's less cool. <laughs> that, like, that just, like, the fact that it's, like, such a big AoE... And it fo- it seems to like follow you. <laughs> it's so, no, that was so me mean. just walking into it repeatedly. What was going on there? You were walking forward with that. It looked like it was you were walking back and getting away with it. That's funny. It is like it is it is kind of unlike any other AOE that we experience in this game. Yeah. And actually, most of these games, like most of the Souls games, don't have that that kind of thing where it's like um, I'm trying to think of a game that has stuff like that. Um, that was sort of like expanding. It's almost like more like an, an a uh, straight up action game mechanic, like a Devil May Cry thing, where yeah. it's like pushes you back, pushes you back, like a jumping game or something would would have that. It is so fucking just a dick slap that um, they can fucking get you in the animation. Yeah. 
It sucks. <laughs> Look, buddy. These guys are so brutal. I want this asshole to come down because I want to get. Yeah. No, we gotta get rid of that. Yeah, this, this... I love their outfits. I I I've been trying to become better at my sense of fashion in, in video games. Not in life. That that's a that ship has sailed, but in video games, um, trying to get a better sense of like what is cool and what I like. And I like that. I like that hood. But yeah, um, it's it's a good it's a good solid hat. It's like druidic. I think that's kinda neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast your fucking... Oh, what did you thought? You thought you were going to cast a lightning bolt at me? Yeah, I like that it's a helmet, kind of. Like, it goes tall, but it also is just like a mask. I also like that you can just kill him. That's... that... It is... it is nice to just, like, see, like, a really, really intimidating cultist to just knock him out. Yeah. Hold on one second. My phone is about to die. Did you go plug it in? <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. You hang on too, Derby. While Dia's away, I wanted to say the the rock formations in this area are super interesting. Um, I, obviously, some of it's graphics, um, but I I like I like the way that they're sort of like these bulbous outcroppings. Like there's a sort of like. I don't know. I don't quite know how to describe it. Like it's it's circular, um, but the break in it is almost like it almost looks like an egg or something. Like a like something's hatching out of it. There's an organic quality to it. Maybe like a flower. There's a lot of kind of egg, uh, eggness to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. In uh... what up, buddy? I would summon you, but you're you're not you're not doing the summoning thing right now. You're doing your own thing, but I'm seeing and you. That, it's cool that there are people doing their own thing. Yeah. I don't know if you can see me, buddy, but I'm waving for you. Hi. Good luck. Good job using that great bow. <laughs> oh no. Like your couch. <laughs> yeah, what? I, be I believe in you. Wholeheartedly. really funny. I love that we survived that one hit. Like, I was like, okay, he's gonna get me that hit on me. That's fine. We're dead. And then it was like, nope, you have this sliver of health left. <laughs> I, that, 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 that drop was one of those things, like, I see, whenever I'm watching, like, you know, they'll do that a lot in, like, any sort of action show, animated or otherwise, where someone will do, like, a big drop down. And it just, like, every time I see it, I'm like, yo, you'd easily dodge that. <laughs> when, watching it there, it's like, oh, there's a there's a good reason you wouldn't easily dodge that. It's extremely no. intimidating. It's horrible. You'd never dodge that. No, you're done. Come on, you're back just, here, you're, guys. You're looking at it and saying, well, that's it for me. Look, eventually you guys are going to stop spawning. And then it's going to be fucking on. Yeah, and then, and then it's going to be time to I'm gonna shine. I'm going to get my homies out here and we're going to go fight that optional boss. I don't give a fuck. It's Dark Souls, baby. I love come the on, optional come boss. Here. Come back here. Every boss is optional if you think about it. Get this motherfucker trying to run away. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I feel like it should do damage to him. I feel like, um, oh. yeah, it, it, it's one of those things, like, once you kill the the caster, the spell should, like, yes, um, sh should turn on the, on the on any of their allies. This is really, like, where, this is, like, one of those rare instances where I would say FromSoft needs to take a page from, like, Game Freak uh, and, and sort of just, like, 
you know, explore what happens when uh, an enemy's strategy becomes your strategy. Um, kind of catching one's Pokemon or something like that. <laughs> Is that a Pokemon strategy? I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, it seems like it should be to me, like the idea of just like, someone's using a Pokemon against me and I and I catch it and uh, and then I use it against that person and it, it like it works for me now. Like I can, I can use Water Gun or whatever, but um, I'm realizing that this might just be me showing the fact that I haven't played a lot of Pokemon. Uh, really only the first one. Oh no. Oh, 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 nice! Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was that's absolutely on me celebrating. No, that was good. That was the appropriate time to celebrate. <laughs> Just before death. All right, let's. I mean, the thing is, you know, every time we restart, it means it's just there's less dudes. It's, it's, that's true. That's true. We're we're working. I'm realizing th oh, working towards a goal. And that goal is less dudes. Less dudes. That's a it's a good goal. It's just a great goal. I think I think the the example I was looking for was definitely uh, better as the Shin Megami Tensei example. Like you uh, you know you you're using paralysis on me and it's like it's really hurting me. But I just brought some demon that was giving me a hard time that I that I summoned and uh, he uses the exact opposite of paralysis. And so now what are you gonna do? Um, I feel like that kind of opposing strategy is not here in Dark Souls mm, too much. Yeah. Sometimes. But it's kind of a it's kind of the the one downside to the you know, you can pick kinda of any build to make it work. Is that there's no builds that have like explicit counters. Yeah. I feel like this room is cleaned up a little bit. Like, it feels like there's... I, yeah, I, you're not... <laughs> Ouch. Jeez, Derby. <laughs> Derby. Derby is at the end of her rope with her adventure, you know? Like, if you think about it, this is like, Derby's like on the DLC. Derby's on the second DLC. Derby's like an optional boss. Derby's just kind of like, at this point, like... Derby's done. Derby's done. Derby is done, which, and we'll, you know, when we get to Dark Souls 3, we'll find out that, like, no, Derby is done. I mean, that's the whole point of Dark Souls 3, right? The, the, the world of Ash. Yeah. Yes. Still so satisfying. Yes! That's right. All right, come down. Come on. Come on. Oh, son of a bitch. Ooh, wow. That's a neat spell. Now, yeah. while I love the hat, I, or the helmet, I don't love the robes. I think the robes are a little much. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you're, he's a weird, like, a weird monastic that mm. hangs out in a shitty cave with a bunch of, like, I mean, kind of crappy dudes. Let's be real here. Like, these are his these friends. Are, yeah. Like, man. You need, like, do you work, think, do they you may think be work friends, friends, friends and all that, but, like, you know, God, dude, get get with it. <laughs> work friends. We're just work friends. Like, I think they are. I think they're just, they're just work friends. It's just what it seems like. What the fuck? You can't be around work friends that have spells like that. No. You're gonna pick up bad habits. Just, just, that guy just praised the sun at you. Praise that. <laughs> so we've got these assholes to worry about still, but that's okay. Like they're 
You can pretty much yeah run through. Like we can run through those them. guys when they, yeah. when they when we come back with our with our crew, as long as they don't try to like get hung up on them or anything like that. Because like they might, but I mean, uh, but eventually they'll just be driven to follow you. Yeah. I would think. I hope so. Come on. Let's let's hope their loyalty is to us and not to killing random mobs. Or you got n n no arm. Oh no! There we go. I will say, they really kind of used up all their creativity for this area on the enemies. There's not a ton to look at here. No, no, it's, it's, this is a cave that's designed to just roll through fast with your homies. Like, that is, yep. it is very clearly what they were going for here. And, like, I understand that. Um, it is, it is a little bit. Um, You've been a dungeon master. You know how it works. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just, you just, like, you're like, no, this is a tunnel. And there's going to be, like, 2d4 goblins. And uh, that's it. <laughs> like, what, what do you want from me? Do you do random encounters like that when you when you dungeon master? Do you do you do you do like roll a dice and that's how many uh, goblins there are? Um, I've I've never DM'd, so I'm this is a legit. Yeah, question, no, like not... I'll, I'll um, depending on like what I'm like, what 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 the group is going for. Um, mm. Yeah, um, I'm a big fan of the random encounter tables, like when if people take a rest in a dungeon, that kind of thing, or in like oh know, yeah the wilderness or anytime you're in a place where safety is not. Um, you know, guaranteed. Look at this asshole mm -mm. running away like that. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Get him before he casts something extremely powerful. That's right. But we cleared out most of this room, so that's good. Yeah, this this room is looking good. Well, that's also good because it means we're getting closer on the other rooms, yeah. too. Which I'm a fan of. Um, but yeah, no, I'm a big fan of the random encounter tables. I'm like... Um, one of the things I decided to do this year, because um, I just, I literally just found about, it, is um, uh, Dungeon Twenty Three, where you, um, you you basically do a room a day um, of oh. a mega dungeon. You do like you know, uh, a lot of people are doing, um, you know, one level per month. Um, so you know, you get like let's like you know like 30 rooms per level like that's that's pretty big and you end up with like a 300 room dungeon by the end of it which is like cool wow yeah. so is it is it making it or is yeah, it just you, like you, you just like kind of draw your map and just write the room description oh, um every day um it's like nano remo except uh good like nano remo but like it's a it's it's it's, it's you know it's just the goal is actually better like i, I feel like you yes know, um one room a day is incredibly mad um, oh, one hundred percent. Like Lori Moore, eat your heart out. Um, eat your little Christian dreadlock heart out. She the one who wrote Christian dreadlocks, right? Lori Moore. I don't know. I I get confused with all the Christian dreadlock people. I gotta I, be honest I, with you. I can't remember. It's kind of like a a pretty particular type of person, and it just it it, it kind of rolls off my my mind. Yeah, I'm just bit. like thinking about. It, I'm like I'm like I don't like. Um, or was it Anne Lamont? Lori Moore, I think, is the one I like. Anne Lamont is the one with the Christian dreadlocks. Anne Lamont was the one who wrote Bird by Bird. Lori Moore is wrote was the one who wrote So You Want to Be a Writer. I think that's right. Oh, man. I am trying to remember my white book? women oh. of the 20th century literature world from uh, undergrad. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. That gets kind of a tricky thing to remember sometimes. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. Like, I... <laughs> I remember Kathy Acker every time. She also had dreadlocks, <laughs> but she was not, she was not Christian, but she had dreadlocks. Uh, Hold on, I have to look that up. We're never gonna live it down. Okay, Anne, Anne Lamott is the one with the with the with the the little the little white girl dreadlocks. I guess they might be okay. braids. Maybe they're braids. No, those are dreadlocks. Those are little white girl dreadlocks. But she wrote Bird by Bird, which is actually an. Okay, and you liked Bird by Bird. In terms of like those terrible self-help books about writing that writers wrote 
I um, hate those books. It's one of the best. Uh, okay. I, gotta, I gotta say, it is one of the best. Um, it is very much a book about being a white woman. Um, but there's a great scene where um, she has to write a novel and like, or she has to write this book and she hasn't like written the book and she calls her agent and is like, can I have the rest of my advance because my life is falling apart and I owe you a book. And her agent is like, no, I've already given you like three quarters of the advance, you know, like <laughs> finish the book, finish the fucking book. Um, and like, she ends up like just drinking like an entire bottle of wine and printing out the book and laying it out on her, like on like the, or not printing out, but taking all of her typewritten pages and just laying it out across the floor of her like, like living room and tries to make sense of it that way. And I really oh. do respect that. I, I respect that too. I, I respect that is, it. That is absolutely correct energy. And like, you know, having someone who's got like New York Times bestseller know we really actually mean it, like not in a bullshit way, on the cover of their book, who's like, no, I had a complete and total nervous breakdown and I called my editor and made like an embarrassment of myself and then I drank, I got really shit faced and like, you know, then I kind of figured it out eventually. Like that, that was really important to me. Um, as it's reassuring. Writer. Um, yeah, yeah. You have to happen? know that the people who can like actually do. Yeah, where are you? I'm down at the bottomest level now. Okay. I went to kill that one guy, and he kind of just like hammered me into like the bottom. Yeah. All right. That's uh. I mean, that's one way to get there. Oh. These guys need to just go away. These dudes have so much just like, like, like. He like, soak so much damage. Their I arsenal is it. nuts. Like it, it, yeah, it's just like, a dude, ridiculous amount of things shit. that they can do. <laughs> and then that motherfucker's got one note. No, he's got two notes because he also has fire out of his fucking shoulder pads, which is great. That's correct. Um, now, how many notes does this guy have? He's got too many. Yeah, he's got too many notes. <laughs> He had too many notes the first time. He has too many like, notes this really, time. Really, dude, you need to calm down, Smelter Demon. Jack of all trades, master of all trades. It's bullshit you can't get, like, backstab on these guys. I guess it's because they don't really have a back anymore. He's got a back. Look at that back. He's, he does not skip back day. Oh, you're right. He does have a back. But he doesn't really have the spine part where you can stab him. But yours isn't a backstab in that way. I mean, really have the front where you can stab him, like, you know, like honestly. Like, oh, yeah. This asshole. I can't imagine any sort of rapier attack goes very well with him. <laughs> uh, joke's on you. Our Estes is upgraded. Him being showy, he, he does there's, no, there's nothing there. I'm, I'm sure this is not an improved sword in any way. <laughs> oh. oh, but look how far we got with that. That was a good run. That was that a was good great. run. That was great. Yeah, there's there, there's nothing to take away from that other than that's really good. That's that's just that's just progress right there. But anyway, Anne Lamott wrote book Bird by Bird, which is this book. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, was it Anne Lamott? Did I just say this? Yeah, yeah, yeah you Lamott. were saying it was Anne Lamott. She was the one with the dreads. <laughs> the thing but is, not the Christian the one. The thing is, when you are a young writer, they give you Anne Lamott and Laurie Moore at the exact same time, and you either take to one or the other. And and that's just how it is. That's just who you are. It's like it's like the sorting hat. Yeah, you, you, but in real life, they just like they're like, here, look, you have one of these two. You just have to deal with it. Oh, look at that! We've cleared out so much of this shit. 
Oh, this is great. There's that asshole up there, but we don't care about him. We're gonna care about this guy this time. This is so good. I like, I don't know what people think about the clearing out streams, but I think they are a wonderful example of what I you can do. I have always you loved our boss runs, and this is just a yes. boss run stream to me, you know? Oh yeah, no, no, same here. I, I genuinely think these are like, these streams show something about Dark Souls that is so rarely shown, which is like how perseverance is effectively the best strategy. Mm -hmm. Just keep at it. <laughs> like, look at this guy. This guy is like, he's like in a little like goofy ass like little jester monk robe and he's and yet, still yeah he's still sitting there just tanking my hits like yep. right up front he took he takes like that's a that's a that's a a, a double-handed you know great sword fully upgraded great sword to the fucking dome yeah he's not he does not care he's like he his whole thing is armor no thanks Oh, that was a... I wasn't expecting that one. He's, he's throwing some new stuff at you. <laughs> oh. oh, look, it's, it's the Smelter Demon Blue's taint. <laughs> he doesn't skip taint day either. The, is the thing about the smelter demon too many people do i'm just gonna say find another dark souls you know stream that will 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 fucking you know tell you about Anne lamott for god's sakes that's true you can't no one's that. gonna talk about Anne. no it's true and like you know what it's funny it's this is this is also the really interesting place where our um educations differ because i never had the chops to be uh, like a creative writer by any means. Oh. Um, and so, or an essayist or anything. Everyone just looks just like, oh, you, this guy can read literature. It's fine. Um, so I never got a lot of those books. They just weren't given to oh. me. I See, didn't take those courses. The big thing with Laurie Moore was like, Laurie Moore gets the one short story or the the one, it's really, it's more of an essay, but it's, it's a short story. It's, you know, genre is, um, you know, uh, messy. Um, yeah, yeah. But it was this, um, it was this, this essay in the New York Times um, from March 3rd, 1985. How okay. to become a writer or have you earned this cliche? And like when like, you know, I was um, I was I was 16 when I first went when I got to college. Um, mm. And this was like one of the things that someone gave it to you. And it was just like, damn, yo, this this white lady, she gets it. Um, <clears throat> this is this is pro style, and then you then you learn how to actually like read and, and become a better person. You have to go through a this white but lady. But you have to, you have to be cringe as shit, and this is like this is the OG cringe as shit thing. Like, um, it's not because actually like you know you've got like Rilke and like all the other motherfuckers all the way back to like you know the beginning of time, writing their cringe shit. Um, but writers write cringe shit, and yep. you, you gotta find the right. You gotta find the cringe shit that speaks to you, um, and then you become a writer. But uh, I just, beautiful. I just, I just, I just googled it real fast, and it's like you could, you could find this right on the arc, the New York Times archive, right there. Just boom. Oh, I'm not surprised. Yeah, that. I mean, that's like, First, that's one of the ones I think they'd want to put on their archive just because it's like famous. Yeah, this People is this is like so fucking famous. Every every writing workshop professor will print this out and make you read it <laughs> i've heard i i know that essay even if i don't know the author like that's yeah that's just one that people first know. try to be something anything else a movie star astronaut a movie star slash missionary a movie star slash kindergarten teacher president of the world fail miserably mm. it is best if you fail at an early age say 14 Early critical disillusionment is necessary so that at 15 you can write long haiku sequences about thwarted desire. 
It is a pond, a cherry blossom, a wind brushing against sparrow wing leaving from mountain. Count the syllables, show it to your mom. She is tough and practical. She has a son in Vietnam and a husband who may be having an affair. She believes in wearing brown because it hides spots. She'll look briefly at your writing, then back up at you with a face blank as a donut. She'll say, how about emptying the dishwasher? Look away. Shove the forks in the fork drawer. Accidentally break one of the freebie gas station glasses. This is the required pain and suffering. This is only for starters. <laughs> I I mean, honestly, it's like... It's it's not bad. <laughs> it's really good for cringy white yeah. girl shit. Like, cringy no, white girls is. have been, like, like, chasing this for decades, and, like, very few have caught up to it. What's what's good about it is it it gets... It's it's self aware too, mm -hmm. like it's cringy, but it's also like she's not celebrating how good a fifteen year old's haikus are. Like it's not like oh my my brilliant stuff my mom didn't like. It's like you're gonna write stuff that no one cares about except you, and your your practical mom who doesn't get your writing has totally has a point. Mm -hmm. It's like all right, <laughs> good on you for recognizing that. That's cool. Um, yeah. Although no. I will say, at the beginning, it does kind of sound like, um, oh, what is that? Uh, it's like always wear sunscreen or something like that. Remember that song? Oh God, yeah. I that, that was up to someone. That was played at so many it. convocations, so many high school convocations. Yeah, yeah. Dance like nobody's watching. That's. I think that's where that uh, was. Where I first heard it, anyway. Well, there was the parody. This was the thing I brought it to someone, and they they like were just like, I've never heard of that. Uh, but there was the parody by Chris Rock that briefly happened. Oh before. yeah, that was called No Sex in the Champagne Room. Mm -hmm. That was like a um, an advice song, but silly. Well, and then there was the um, oh uh, oh the the guy who wrote Infinite Jest. Um, uh, oh, uh, uh, David Foster Wallace. David Foster Wallace, who wrote the, the, the Goldfish. Yeah, 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 short yeah that's story. right. I always forget that he wrote that and the, um, the Lobster. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> because I just think of them as sea creatures, so I think, well, one person, one person certainly couldn't have two sea creature articles. That's, <laughs> that's just ridiculous. I mean, you'd think that, but you'd be wrong. I would be wrong. Um, but, but yeah, like there's, there's, you know, like that's that we need to have, okay, good. We've cleared out. We have totally made this, this like so perfect nice. runway path. And now we're ready, I think, to, like that happened and that sucks. And like, but I don't really care about clearing out. Oh. He's still there. <laughs> oh my God. He's, the fucking He's still weird, chilling. Just, you the know. fucking Dullahan, man. Um, the Dullahan is so wild. The, the lava Dullahan. Like. The thing is, I think it's important that we we need to have, like, every generation needs to have their cringe essay that, like, you know, all the young writers can look at and, like, aspire to. And then eventually they grow up and realize, oh, the person who wrote this also didn't, be like, was like, I'm a, I'm a fucking fraud and this is my fraud yeah. piece. Um, like, you know, the, the most important thing for me as a writer in, in terms of, like, the Lori Moore piece was, like, coming to realize that Lori Moore does not believe she has earned the cliché. Like, right, right, it was like, right. Okay, yeah, you are always going to be this person who is like chasing after this. Like that, that's that's just that's the job. That's the um, whole point, right? Yeah, exactly. And like that was really liberating. Yeah, I think like I think it's the the sooner someone can tell you in a a useful way that you're always going to be doing that, the better. Like I feel like the one bad, well, the one bad thing. One of the many bad things about academia <laughs> is that uh, every like you, you you run into so many disillusioned professors that the way they tell you, you know, like you're not you're not a genius, you know, like just you're you're going to be trying forever, is by saying there's nothing here for you, like you're not going to get a job, and and framing it is as you're not going to get a job doesn't tell anyone anything. Uh, framing it as have you were in the cliche actually does tell you something to Lori Moore's credit. Wow. For killing this. <laughs> okay, 
sorry. No more confidence. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> now, Trevor, remind me to pause the here unlocked. and use my fucking humanity and bring my homies with me. Yeah, I was wondering was why you didn't, point. but I thought... I kept forgetting. I was like, you know what? I okay, just kept your, forgetting. Yeah. Use your humanity and bring your homies I was, with you. I was busy thinking about, you know... Larry Moore. Uh, yeah, like, well, like, all the writing professors in my life who just, like, you know... We're like you're you're gonna be a writer, or you are absolutely never going to be a writer. Please, please don't, please do anything but be a writer. Um, but that all of them that push Lori Moore on me, and we're like, you know, this is this is you. <laughs> Find yourself in this white lady. You know, sometimes you gotta. Everyone has to find themselves in a white lady. You just pick one, pick one, mm -hmm. and hope she doesn't turn out to be a turf. Oh well, best to find one that is dead. Um, can't. No, can't because I tried to do that with with fucking Ann Sexton, and then I thought she was fucking like you know, was like sexually assaulting her daughter, and it was like, well, shit. Oh, now I have geez. to find a whole new fucking writer that like means something to me. Yeah, I guess mine, mine being um, now I'm forgetting her name. Uh, Kathy Acker is like. Kathy Acker is very cringe um, in a lot of ways. She's not... She seems to have pretty good politics. They're scattered and bizarre and co-ed. They're decent. So, yeah, like, no, I can... You can, you, can, you can do worse than Kathy Acker. It's, it's... I think she's a good writer, too. That was basically what I discovered for myself when I wrote about her. I was like... I'll write about this lady because I don't think she's very good. And then I read her more and I was like, actually, she's excellent. Um, and that was that was important to know that to, to be able to celebrate a woman um, as a as a as a young, uh, a young dirt bag. Just kidding. We didn't we didn't know what that was when I was in school. You didn't have we didn't have dirt bags back then. No, you were just. Come on, guys. You get You've it. completely confused the spell turn. <laughs> I mean, that's the goal. He's, hit. He's hitting random spots on the floor. He's so mad. damage on the smelter <laughs> yeah um <laughs> well we go from 200 to you know 300 yeah I mean we're still doing enough damage to burn the smelter yeah, I need steel, so steel wield Lori to like fucking get that shield up. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. That shield is just decorative for steel wield. Now that is not really what Adel is as a beast, right? He's more of a dagger guy. Am I right about that? Adel's a sword or guy. Or a broadsword? Yeah. Yeah, Adel's a standard longsword kind of guy. Yeah, Adel here seems to have some sort of like double-sided halberd. He's got the he's got the the witch of the the yeah steel wheel glory hit that Estes. Jesus, this guy is no fucking joke though. No, he's hard. Especially with this fucking blue fire today. It looks cool though. I mean, I hate to, I hate to, to betray the squad, but it looks really cool. No, oh god damn! Oh, I didn't know he could just like pop off with that, that big shit like that. Yeah, that sucks. Damn. Well, shit. Are you gonna keep trying with your friends? Yeah. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got, yeah, we got twelve humanity, like. Yeah, I'm not super worried about I'll, I'll that. I'll burn these to, like... I guess 
like we get to like six. That was exactly what I was gonna say, and I was like, I wonder what deal will say. I was like, yeah, we could, we could burn down to six and see. I'm curious oh, if yeah. anyone's gonna like, if, if there's any like person, because like, I mean, that's that's the thing about Dark Be Souls. Be nice. Is like the thing about Dark Souls is that like, no matter. Did I use one already? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, no matter like, you know, one one human. Uh, is like even like a crappy one. It's like ten AI. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah the NPCs in, in this game are just not particularly good at fighting. No, they're not. They're not really tuned. Occasionally, you'll get fights where they they are kind of like you know they're not they're not bad homies. Um, yeah, I think our fight against the rotten was that way. Like our 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 friends in the against the rotten. The one the one was not very good. I can't remember who it was, but there was one who was like pretty decent. The one time we brought um, in like Jester Thomas, and like Jester Thomas was just like, oh, "I'm gonna yeah. go rip shit with fire." Oh, the fight's over. Um, that was wild. Like, there were some good times there, for sure. But I mean, truly, the best time was when we found that that one human, and he just. Yeah. carried us through well yeah that, 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 was, that, that first rocked. fight with um uh with uh what's his face the um the wasn't it it was in the dlc right was it the was first the... dlc oh oh wasn't yeah there, there, was, like there was a dlc there was a dlc homie um but then there oh was, yeah uh, there was more too the very with, uh, first with um, pursuer pursuer yeah yep that's it. Yeah, that was that was sweet. That and really like cool. they just came in and just like took the pursuer apart. Yeah, they they did not need our help. No, um, <laughs> so it was wild. It was one of those things where it was like I was trying to like be like a, a good player, and they were just like, get out of my way. <laughs> it was like it was. I think that was like before I will solo her uh, discourse happened, and I feel it like was. that was like Which that is, is why it that was really also... funny. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We got this. Especially because like our, our guys this time actually have um, enough hit points coming into it. Oh shit. They also seem to have their head in the game. A yeah. little more than last time. Okay, well, maybe spoke too soon there. <laughs> Steel Will Lori is still struggling. You've you've drawn the ire of the <laughs> Oh shit. Oh. That attack sucks. Yeah, it really does. Completely unbalanced. Oh no. Still where Lori is there to like to, to demonstrate like when you get the bad uh, player <laughs> who dies like <laughs> five seconds into the fight and you're like, well shit, you've like added to the difficulty. But now, and like, yet, yeah, I brought you here, and this is what you've done for me. Son of a bitch! Oh, that was that was that uh, was that much was better. a good run, though. Yeah, that was very good. All right, that is by my count, fifteen deaths. <laughs> by my count, I should I should emphasize that I've been enjoying watching some of these deaths and. As a result, may have been laughing my way towards not marking them, but well, we'll, we'll, I believe... just, we'll just go by the numbers we've got. You know, that's yeah, all we yeah. Can I do. just, I was, I was saying it mostly for the audience. I know you, you understand that truth is is mostly subjective. One of these days, you know what? I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna leave Steel Will Glory behind. Oh, <laughs> we're just gonna bring Drifter Swordsman Adel with us and Let's see, see how, how that goes.
you're gonna have two bosses now. It's gonna be drifters. It's gonna be steel, steel well, Lori, and steel the steel well, is gonna be there, just really pissed off. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Scorned steel will Lori. Scorned Lori. Scorned will Lori. <laughs> See what happened if it was like a Metal Gear Solid game, you'd get scorned glory. Yeah. Okay, so far okay. Adel is also not messing around with like yeah. the ads. Come but on, Adel, get in here. Get in here, homie. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, this is going a lot better. I hate to leave someone behind, but man... This uh this is night day. Yeah. I mean I suppose we could regret it when Adel dies or if Adel dies, but so far. But even if Adel dies, like it'll be so much easier to pick up the slack from one. Yeah. Like we're 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 oh, already. That's, yeah. It'll get away. Get away. It'll. Oh no. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, he left you with that tiny L. Yeah. Wow. We love that. Adel, drink from your. Oh, good shit. Son of a bitch! Oh my god. Oh, that was close. Uh, uh, but Adel, we got this. Yeah, <laughs> we're, just, we're just bringing Adel from now on. Yeah, oh. sorry, Lori. You are bringing us down. Oh god, that was so close. It really was. That was bullshit. That was such bullshit. Um, actually, I know what I need to do, though. Shit off my timeline. I need to put the my piece. timeline. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that shit off my timeline. Like what? I agree. Um, I agree. I'm gonna use this crimson water. I don't. I don't make him greatly restore his health, and I don't need. I don't. I'm not using spells. So like whatever. Yeah. What? Are, when are you gonna ever? Okay. Sorry. No, Lori. Drifter swordsman. I don't. I don't. Adel, Adel, Adel. I made you out of clay. I summoned you from clay. You know what? It would have been a good boss in this area. And I mean, I'm glad it's not here because it would have been scary. Um, what would have been a good boss in this area would have been an ant. I think an ant would have made a lot of sense. Yeah. No, like, it's interesting because, like, Dark Souls, like, uh, From Software has really kind of gone into, like, uh, humanoids in like a big, yeah. big way, and like I kind of get it on the one hand, but also um, I miss the weird shit that Dark Souls or Demon Souls gave us. Yeah, and I think like I don't know. I think if you if you play a game like um, EDF or something like that, you can. It's like the 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 effectiveness of just a bunch of big old bugs. Yeah. Can't be denied. No. 
huge plug here for EDF if people haven't played any of those games. Son of a bitch. Oh. I thought I had a different room. Okay, but that the 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 process there was exactly right. Yeah, the process there was was this was right. I thought I just I just thought I had more room than I did. I mean that's the that's the that's the killer with with um I feel like that's the killer with any smelter demon is with like dysmetria. You, just think you have the space. <laughs> that's the killer with dysmetria. <laughs> I don't even understand the reference, and I'm I'm really just enjoying it a lot. Uh, Dismetry is just the inability to kind of judge um, distances. Oh, I yeah. didn't know it's, that. It's, it's, it's just a it's a neurological thing. Disorder, just you just know. Um, I I, I cannot judge distances. Um, is that true? Yeah. At all, or is it is it just like it's your, very uh, difficult? It, like I will underreach or overreach oh. for things. I'll bump into walls. Like, hmm. um, yeah. Um, the interesting thing is, is when it's like comorbid with um, body dysmorphia, which, you know, is an inability to see your own body, which is like, yeah, uh, I don't know where my mm. body begins and ends sometimes. Really, like, I'm, I'm kind of considering that. Must be very strange. It could be weird. It could definitely be weird, but well, uh, I don't know for a fact. But I, I do like wonder sometimes, like, cause, like I've never been able to like, even in like two D fighters, like judging the distance between. Um, uh, oh, son of a bitch! Oh, I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah. I just... <laughs> Screw that guy, particularly. I guess also this guy. Screw this guy. Yeah, wow. Like...
sword is so long, it wraps around him when he does that. Yeah. Normal, normal sword. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, oh my god! That was so close. Chewing on my Shit. fucking microphone thing now. God damn it. God oh. damn it. You got this, though. Motherfucker. Okay. You got this. I'm gonna do one more run or I'm gonna get completely tilted. So. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, it's we'll, important we'll, to know. Yeah, we'll just. We're just gonna. We're gonna. You have to know when you're going to get completely tilted. Yeah. But, you got this, I think. So we can see what, what I got. And, and, on the off chance we don't, we don't get it this time, now we have a, a full and free approach. It's true. So, you know. Got that going for we us. Got that going for us. Yeah. No, there's, this is, this is. I'm just curious. I'm curious. I'm like, I'm like, does he actually do? Does he does does he do magic damage or does he do? What kind of damage would you, would, does? He... Would you like me to look up what damage he does? Nah, I don't need that. Okay. Maybe next week we'll 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 see. But this time. This week we're just we're just enjoying the new year. It's so, true. Dia, do you have any have any thoughts to? I I don't I don't really like resolutions, so I won't ask you your resolutions. But I will say. Do you have any thoughts as to what what you'd like to do in 2023? Well, anything, I mean, um, you'd like I to do particularly. I did uh, abnormal mapping. If you're a, a patron at the ten dollar level, they do a podcast called VoIP Life, um, hmm. and it's a really good. This is a good. This is a good like you know hangout podcast where just 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 shooting the shit, and uh, it always it always ends up being very interesting. Uh, but I was on that for the end of the year, and. The, the big thing there was like you know it was like they were doing a resolutions thing and they had a bunch of a bunch of friends of the shows on and uh, I was there to talk about how uh, my plans are to not die because you know I got the excellent hard thing, plan which I thought yeah um, so I not, love that not for dying you. Was and a, for was me a, was a big one for me yeah um, and then. Also, to, to do this dungeon thing, which I've been having a real great time with. Uh, no. And so those are those are really my big plans. Is um, I also I need to get I want to get back into writing for Pace. I have been struggling with that um, on and off and just because writing is hard. And, you know, yeah. like, you know, I've been dealing with, like, the dad thing, and it's, it's really sure. just taken a lot out of me. Um, so, my, my goal is to... Nice. Those are wonderful goals. 
yeah. Um, but what about you, Trevor? You you thought about anything at your? Um, I think the main thing I would like to do is figure out um, a little more about what I want from uh, my professional and and sort of like I suppose like from both my day job and content creative elements. Um, I feel like I've just kind of been. Uh, going through the motions on some things, like just doing them because I think I need to be done. And yeah, I don't necessarily know if that's necessarily good. That makes sense. Yeah, no, it's 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 hard out here. It is. Like there are some things that I do because I like them, like like this podcast, like this uh, sorry, podcast, <laughs> this LP. I mean, but it's, there's it's... some things that I just do because I think, oh, you know, it's what people do to get listeners or whatever, and it's like. I want to make good stuff. So thinking about that, and then I'd love to I'd love to come up with a topic for the next book. That would be nice. Fuck yeah. And Adel didn't even die. Adel, this is what so up, great. Adel? You rock. <sighs> yes. We did it. Look at oh. that. What's in See? the next okay. room? Well, okay, first of all, well, cool. let's look at this. First sick... of all, we got it. Yeah, let's look this at this. This is cool. We're not tilted, so they're we can like, look at what we want. There's like to. this like lotus like blossom that they're holding up with the blue flame in it. And there's like there's like waves, like they're coming out of. Is that well? Is that um, hmm. fire or water? Or is it fire? Yeah, yeah. I think it's Hard water. Say. Yeah. Um, I think it's them holding something up above the lit. Well, no, because there's the the waves in the Iron Keep are also fire. Yeah. Things that it sinks into. Mm-hmm. I that is maybe one of my um. My favorite, Dark Souls um, sculptures. I think that's fantastic. This one's really good, yeah. Um, but that's like that's that's really incredible. Also, I'm really I'm just, I'm still in love with this like find edges uh, effect to do the like the lava the the, the molten rock creeping through. It's great. It's, it's so, so good. good. It's like really incredible. Um, 1998 just... Dia would absolutely have had a wallpaper like this. Um, and then filled her desktop, her ni Windows 98, Windows 2000 desktop full of, like, all of the fucking icons, and it would have been a disaster to look at. But she would have been real fucking happy. Um, it really does look like a wonderful 1998 It desktop really does. Background. We got this, this, this kind of style on the floor. Nice little um, filigree in the middle. This is a which, great room. Which is, the, which is the direction I'm supposed to be going? I guess it's this oh, one. I hope yeah, this, this way. Is, I did it. I, okay, yes, okay. They did this it. This is the direction. Joy. Let's leave a message. Let's leave a message. Um, let's just face this way, first of all. Message. Um, hurrah for concepts. Let's, like, let's look at concepts. I love concepts. Um, hurrah for confidence. That's a good one. Um, uh, hurrah, hurrah for, for, like, for woman. Hurrah for guts. Composure probably is the most thing that you need during that. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to do Hurrah for Bravery. Ooh, good one. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Uh, I don't want I love it. There we go. Just Hurrah for Bravery. Good job. Hurrah for Bravery, indeed. Good job to everyone who did it. <clears throat> All right. You didn't have to. It's an optional boss, and you did it anyway. Yeah, look at this. Uh, tears ahead. What is this? Oh, it's a Pharaoh's mask. Pharaoh's mask. Let's read that. What's we'll that about? Well, it's it's the Pharaoh's mask is um.
There he is. A mask depicting Pharaoh's contraption. Tears flow from the eyes of the mask, drenching its wearer. The majority of Pharaoh's creations are perplexing to reason mend, and this mask is no exception. So, there's the question of, is that Pharaoh's? Is that or just a mask that Pharaoh's wore? I don't know. It's a very good question. We're going to go up here, and then I think we'll... We'll call it for the night. Oh, what a satisfying... Th that was such a that good was fight so against good. the... You did so well in that Thank fight. You. That was incredible. Oh, well, I Revenge. guess because you can't... Oh. <laughs> Look at that. It just, it just puts us back up here. Um, let's hop down and see what it says. <laughs> Circling around. Um, what did we rate that? Okay. That's not letting us... It's not letting us rate it anymore. I'm assuming that's because its rating is already 69. Ah. Do you think they stopped rating after yes. 69? Because we can still rate this one. Pointless ahead. And then hurrah for pointless. Um, yes, yeah, so it's just... <laughs> there's, there's that. And then we're I back I mean, I here. understand. We're back here at this with these large men floating up and down. I like these guys a lot. Yeah, no, I like it's, it's good. I like the forge. Everything. So oh, here and here we are. We are in our, Here's our, our bonfire. Let's bonfire. actually... We're gonna go back to Majula and just spend these these souls. Man, even I felt the the stress of be, like the stress of beating the Smelter Demon is leaving my body right now. So I can only imagine. Doesn't it feel great? God, it feels good. It feels incredible. It feels really good. It's such a good feeling. Bearer of the curse. Yeah, you will. There's a when the uh, when the um, when the Phillies won the World Series in um, in 2008. There's a there's a clip of uh, Harry Callis calling it, and, ne and next to him is Chris Wheeler, who was still calling games at that point too. And uh, Callis calls the the final out, and next to him, Chris Wheeler is just going, "Yes, yes, yes." <laughs> That's like exactly the involuntary thing that came out of my mouth when you got the last. <laughs> I just became Chris Wheeler. It's... Like I've never I've I've always liked watching that, but I've never really been able to put myself in his shoes. It's like, oh, now I now I can. It's like exactly what you do when something happens and you've been worried about it. Yeah. We did it. We we, we beat the optional yeah. section. That's the optional section that people talk about as the most frustrating. Dude, it, it so. really is. Like, if you go and look at the thing, people are so rowdy about it. People are it's pissed really about that section. Funny. Um, and we did it <laughs> thanks to thanks to Adol. I have to go and look up and see if that is, like, a reference. Um not that I'll get a definitive answer, but even if I get like other people being like, oh yeah, no, it's got to be. That would be so funny if you got a definitive answer. Like someone, someone asked me as I like, the thing like, is, absolutely. Like, if they let me fucking talk to like these people, which they don't for good reason, because I'd, I'd be like, you know, on the call and they'd be like, you're supposed to be talking about Armored Core 6. And I'd be like, uh, yeah, so, uh, so like, you know, Swordsman Adel. Um, that's that's a Yee's reference, right? That's totally <laughs> Yee's. That's that's Adol. Um, that's shipwrecked Adol. Like, <laughs> and then Miyazaki's just like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> like, uh, you, you, you figured it out once again. I yeah. hope in Armored Core Six, I get to name my mech. Fucking name it, shipwrecked Adol. Uh, don't let that motherfucker on your boat. I swear to God, if shipwrecked. A, if a redhead motherfucker shows up with a with a with a sword. On your boat and like a the, get out of there. A, a mission from God, you you tell him to get off your goddamn boat, or you get off the boat yourself. But either way, um, we did it. And next next time, next time we'll, we'll do something new. Well, I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure it out. We gotta figure out. The uh, so rest is there of this. any is, is there any more to that DLC? Or are we done with that? Dude, DLC? there is so is much more to this DLC. So oh, I know yeah. we have the next we have the next crown to get, but did we do all the the the, the forgery, the old iron crown DLC? Okay. Uh, no, we're still doing the old iron crown DLC. Wow, we, we are not... this is cool. Yeah, no, we spent we spent three weeks doing <laughs> some other bullshit, some side quest of a side quest, and that's why Dark Souls Two is the best. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, come on. Yeah. It, Except no, except no substitutes. No. Tell the people where they can find you, Trevor. Because uh, podcast is at no cartridge. Uh, it's been a little quiet there recently as I retool, but uh, you'll see some stuff soon. And um, the book's called Story Mode. It's a new year, so uh, buy a book for yourself. Uh, and um, uh, the, my Twitter is Hagelbon, and I'm still working on uh, starting other places to talk. But I think uh, I'll do that soon. 
hopefully. Yeah, come join me on co-host. I can't wait. Uh, you can find me on co-host at uh, it's Delacina. Um, I guess it's co-host.com slash Delacina. I don't know. Go to co-host, type in Delacina. You'll find me. Um, it's where the cool kids are. Don't listen to those Tumblr Mastodon nerds. Um, are people really going back to Tumblr? Oh yeah, Tumblr. Tumblr uh, has been like it's actually it's it's not a bad time. Um, I gotta say, well, I can't okay. I cannot fully commit to Tumblr because I don't live in the aughts anymore. Um, it's important <laughs> to leave the aughts, or else you become you become the Eve Six Twitter account if you don't leave the aughts, and that's Eve. just not what you want to be. I don't want to become the Eve Six Twitter account. <laughs> I don't. It, it could be you. <laughs> you have to be careful. And on that note, we'll see y'all next week, most likely, um, right here. Uh, just remember, you've got friends in Majula, and uh, we're here for you. Bye. Bye. I love when we get like just like a fucking sick episode. I was so going to be disappointed yes. if... Oh, if you didn't beat the demon in that one? Yeah, yeah. well, I was too, and it was like... So I would never would have I never would have been like, "Oh, you should do it again." Thank you.